What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Draft 2 Glory. The icons are in full force. Uh, let's go with the trusty 4-2-3-1. In yesterday's episode, um, the guy that I lost to in the final... Ooh, Didier Drogba. Drogba, why not? Um, the guy that I lost to in the final uh, was also a streamer on YouTube. Uh, and he was he's a viewer or um, a follower of myself and, and the channel and stuff. Um, and so I you know, I had some people in my chat saying that he sniped me and stuff. I ended up going into his stream and just having a chat with him. He didn't snipe me. He's just a really nice guy, a really good player. Uh, he actually got 27 and 3, I think, this last weekend gone. So I'm happy to take an L to a guy that good. You know what I mean? And uh, hope uh, hope he goes well with his... Uh, 98 Pele back again. Hope he goes well with his um, streaming career and his YouTube. So uh, good luck to him. So guys... If you're enjoying the content and you wouldn't mind dropping a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. Yari Lipmanen, three star, four star, low agility and balance. Brian, wait, Michael Loudrop, four star, four star. That's that is a good card. Not yeah, no, that's a good card. It's not a great card. It's a good card. It's a little low on stamina. We'll take him though because he's got the shadow. Uh, so is Drogba. Drogba. Um, oh, oh, prime moments, Ronaldinho. This this card is hands down one of my favourites in the game right now. Um, his, I don't care. Like, I know his agility and balance is high anyway. Uh, so is his dribbling, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He is fleet-footed on the ball. He's so light on the ball. He's so much fun to play with. Um, glad to have him in the team and prime moments Zanetti to go alongside it. So this is what I'm saying, guys. Icons are in full force right now. All right, we took Essien last time, or a time. We use Petit all the time. We use Gattuso from time to time. So let's have a look. Either Rijkaard, who's got 90 short pass, 87 long pass. Great stamina, great physicals, great defending in general. Really low balance and quite poor agility. Um, and then Makaleli, who has got, I think, less part. Oh, actually better passing. His curve and free kick accuracy bring his passing stats down. His agility and balance is much better. I'm going to take Makaleli hands down. He is considerably better. And we are six for six for Icon so far from these picks. What are we going to get left back? We're going to get a team of the year. We're going to get Andy Robertson. That's outrageous. This might well be. We've got 98 Pele, 95 Ronaldinho, 94 Zanetti and Robbo. We might be in here for a big draft, guys. And I'm going to take Sol Campbell. It's not prime moment, Sol Campbell. But this draft is looking ridiculous. Come on, give me another Icon. I mean, it, it did. It gave me Carlos Puyo. I'm not taking him. I'm taking Antonio Valencia again. Uh, we're guaranteed to get him or Robbo on full chemistry. Um, so, so <clears throat> I think I'm going to take Chiellini just for that rating. We are 91. Please give me 94 Yashin. Come on, EA. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a hard L, that is. Um, I suppose this guy does all right. We're, 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 we're a 192, and we've only just picked the first 11. We've only got one low rated player. I'm going to let me, let me take the goalkeeper to just. No, oh, because it might be a silver. Let me go with the reserves first. Let me go with the reserves first. Oh, amazing. I uh, like. I would take Trezeguet to use him. I liked him in last year's game as well. I packed him, his prime in last year's game. But we've already got a brand new icon striker that I've never used before in Drogba. So we're going to take him instead. We use Figo all the time. I used Seydorf in yesterday's draft. I hated him. He wasn't good. Uh, JJ Okocha could be an interesting one. But if we're going to get a 194, we're going to go with Zinedine Zidane. We're going to pop him in there at Cam. And that is now a monster, monster draft. I mean, it already was, but it still is. And I'm also gonna take 91 Jan Oblak. Well, I'm already I'm at a 193 already, guys. And we've got two nine ones on the bench. EA, come on, man. Hook me up. No, that's not. Oh, I suppose Munayin at 86 isn't terrible. Um, let me put Oblak in. He does get full chem. Does it take us up to a 194? No, let me put Loudrop in at centre back. We still get 100 chem. It's still only a 193, but we've just upgraded by seven, eight, oh, by nine ratings. So I think we're only two points away from it being a 194, which is quite nice. And we will take... I might... I'm going to take the Ricardo Pereira, of course. 
And then the last reserve spot. Come on, a big icon. Yes, look at that. It's got Carlos Alberto, more Rivaldo. We're going to take Carlos Alberto, of course. We're going to put him in at centre-back because that works. Is that that should be 194. It is a 194. Oh, my God. It's a 194, just not with the bench. It's a monster draft. I've got two big players on the reserves and three medium players. Every player that I take is going to negatively impact this draft unless it's a minimum of an 89 rated. That's tough. I've got an 89 and a 91 on the bench, so I can get away with a little bit. This draft is massive. This is genuinely mad. Look at this draft. And I've got like an icon just chilling on the reserves as well. Right, here we go with our goalkeeper. All right, so that, that's, that's that hard rip. I'm going to take him for the uh, basic chem style. That takes us down to a 193 as expected. Yeah, we're, we're like... I, I, I'm going to struggle here to get a 194 unless we get probably another team of the year. Um, I will take Alex Tellez. We're still only a 194. I've got one more 89 to come on. Sorry, we're still only a 193, I beg your pardon. And I will now take Jordi Alba as well. EA, come on, man. We haven't had a silver pick yet. We're still a 193. I've got one little upgrade that I can put on. Come on, I need... Ooh, I'm going to take Palacios. I like that card a lot. We're still a 193. See, we can put Chiellini on. It's not going to be enough for a 194. I, I, I'm going to need... A team of the year card here. Or another big icon. And it's not coming. We get into... Oh, the UCL version of Christian Eriksen. At this rate, it's not even going to be a 193 anymore. At this rate, it's going to drop down to a 192. Yep, yeah, that's uh, that's tough. Let's take Nanny for that shadow. Um, oh, I haven't even done... You know what? For today's draft, I'm not even going to change chem styles. I'm not even going to do it. I know I should... No, I shouldn't. Who cares? Does it make much of a difference? It does make a difference. Let's uh, let's pop the shadow in there. And the shadow in there. Let's get Hunter's... Uh, although I don't really care about Hunter on... On Pele. Do I have more? Yeah, Maestro, Maestro on Zidane is good. Could do with a Maestro or an engine. Oh, I've got another shadow for Valencia. Um, basic on the CDM is actually okay. Let's pop a... Let's pop a powerhouse there. Let's pop those two chem stars around there. And I did get the goalkeeper with the basic as well. Um, I'm going to put a basic on... Ro no, let's put a catalyst on Robbo. Let's get him some pace. There, oh, no. Wrong way. Him there. And him there. I shouldn't really need to change chem stars with, with icons this good. It's just habit. You know, I just... I felt weird not doing it. Oh, man. I mean, that last pick was dead. I, I, we, we could potentially have had... A 194, guys. I think we're going to walk away with a 192. I think it's it's gone from that good to that bad that quick to the point where it's uh, it's now going to be a, a pretty woeful setup. Um, we got Pele into the middle spot there. I'll keep Pele in the middle as well. I'll use Zidane and Ronaldinho on the outsides. Um, and then we've got Antonio Valencia to come back in for Laudrop. And uh, Robertson to come in for Ericsson. And have we got any subs to be made? Bergwin off and Pereira on. And does it take us to a 193? It doesn't. Look at that. Oh, it's been obliterated. How can we go from a 194 from the main squad and the reserves to a 192 for the main team? That's outrageous. Let's take our manager. What do we need? A Brazilian um, is about all we need. Everything else is on 10. So... A Brazilian manager will do us nicely. EA, please. No, we didn't get one. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter then. So that, guys, is the squad. Let's get into the action. All right, guys. As we go into game number one, we come up against a 3-4-2-1. Eusebio, Ronaldinho, Garincha, Balak, Drogba, Maldini, and Campbell as his icons, with two of those being prime moments. Team of the year, Mane. Uh, winter refresh, Bruno Fernandes. Headliner, um, Semedu, I didn't actually see his goalkeeper there. Um, that's a nice draft. I, I, I personally either really, really struggle against three at the back or completely dominate against three at the back. There doesn't seem to be any in between. So let's see uh, what we can do and hopefully we can pick up a, a nice easy dub here. Here is Ronaldinho for me. I like his card so much. There's Drogba, the first time that we're using him in the game. The ball comes back to Didier. 
And Didier Drogba, oh, he uses the strength and the power on his left foot. He drills it in the bottom corner. And it's taken us just two minutes to get in front. And there we're through. That's not the ball that I wanted, EA, and you know it. But we'll take it. Ronaldinho, here he is for two. Oh, God. In that header, Zidane, you're big lad. There we go. Out wide left. Nice. Pele. Makalele. Zanete. Uh, back into Pele. Oh, that should be a goal. That, that's weak for me. That's poor attacking play, that is. Oh, this guy can't get out right now. Here's Drogba. Here is Didier Drogba. Oh, what is this? My attacking is really poor right now. A little bit more... A little bit more composure from me, and I'd be two or even three up by now. Drogba's onside there as well. Drogba! Oh, he's off the bar. Ronaldinho with the header. No. We've got Pele. We've got Zidane. Surely from here, Zidane. Oh, he's put it wide. Man, my players are just... I can't... This, this guy's just like rushing out, but still getting the ball off of me. Oh, he's slowed down. Carlos Alberto, why? Don't worry, what a recovery. Right, come on. I need to get a goal here. This guy is wide open. There we go. We're through with Drogba. Oh, that should be two. There we go. That's going to be two. Pele pops it in the back of the net for 2-0. It has been coming. And uh, we get that easy goal there. That's a nice play. Lovely ball into Zidane. Got Drogba back on the inside. Oh, my God. Might as well just stand still with the ball when I've got it, honestly. That's nice. Oh, my God. That was supposed to be inside for Pele, but... Now, we'll take the uh, we'll take the possession. Take the possession again. Oh, that's going to be half-time. Right, guys, so 2-0 up at half-time. This isn't easy, but it's not difficult either. The, the, the way this guy is playing, I would be better served to literally just stand still with the ball. He's not pressing me. He's just manually switching into defenders to mark the passing channels. Um, so every time I pass it, I'm at risk of losing the ball. So if I just stand still, <laughs> I should win the game. Um, let's see how the second half goes. We're away down the side here. We've got space over as well. We've got four guys in the box. We've got... Oh, no, I didn't quite get it. And he's going to get the ball back there as well now. That could be a goal. That's a great block from Sol. Oh, and lovely from the defenders there again. Pele, nice, good fighting. And then Drogba's away. Drogba pushes past Campbell. Oh, same team, lads. Baller to the back post. Oh, Penrith. Nope, cool. Don't even need subs. We'll bring on Loud Drop for Zidane. Just because why not? But we don't even need the subs. My stamina is so good because we've had so much possession and this guy's not pressing at all. It's been comfortable. Oh, he's got some space there, though. Has a shot with Pele. Big save from our black. Let's go. All right, this guy's finally finally starting to come out and try and play some uh, play some football now. Took him to be 2-0 down with 20 minutes to go. But he's finally got some pressure on the ball and some players up front. Don't bump into him, Ronaldinho. Yes, that's what I like to see. Oh, Ronaldinho. Oh, so close. My inner R9 right came out there. Holy moly. Needs a goal here if he's going to get back into this game. Otherwise, it's curtains for this guy. Got a good chance here. Why has he done that skill move with Eusebio? He did the ball roll, created the space, and then chopped back outside and uh, cut himself off from the uh, the angle again. Ronaldinho is clean through the middle. He's going to get it too. Oh, he's away. Surely for three. Oh, my days. I've screwed it up. And that, guys, is going to be full time. So I did get a red card in the end. Um, wait, hold on. Ref, what are you doing? Uh, I did get a red card in the end with Robbo. Two yellows and he got sent off. Uh, but a 2-0 victory. Uh, that guy was... He was hard to break down. I'm glad I got that first early goal because it just made it a little bit easier for me. He was hard to break down. Uh, I definitely controlled possession. He only had two saves on his keeper. Um, yeah, controlled possession and controlled the general style of the game just because of the way he played. He just started attacking too little too late and uh, didn't get back into the game. So 2-0 uh, in the first round, guys. I'll see you in the uh, second round. And into the second round we go. We're up against a 5-3-2 this time. So three at the back to five at the back. Um, this guy's got... Uh, oh, um, Van Basten. Zanetti, Campbell, Baresi, Schmeichel and Essien is his icons. 
Uh, Mbappe Valverde. Um, I missed out on a few of his other his other players there, but a five at the back, and much like the three at the back in the last round, five at the backs are also formations that are either one way or the other. There's never really an in-between. It's either a very, very comfortable victory or a very, very, very difficult game. Um, it just depends how well people can utilise the attacking play with five at the back, not necessarily the defensive play. Defending in FIFA, albeit for me to say because I'm terrible at defending, but defending in FIFA is typically easy. Um... And so having a fifth defender doesn't really make much of a difference. It's attacking in FIFA that can be tricky. And the fact that this guy is scoop turning and drag backing uh, means that we could be in for, for a hell of a game here. Oh, that nice from Pele. Drogba is just not on the ball. Even in the last game, every time we got the ball up to him, he just lost possession very quickly. We have got Drogba through here, though. That's nice. Oh, I, ha I, I had the inside track on Baresi there. And I decided to cut back outside, hoping that he'd try and read me inside. And he just stood still defending. And that is my bad. And that's Robertson. Foul ref. Thank you. Oh, that's a nice play. That could be a goal. He was offside anyway. That was a nice play. This, this guy's decent. That's two, two players in a row that have actually been really strong players. And he's away. Drop was away. Let's go, baby. That pace. That power. That pace and that a pen ref. No, just as I'm about to shoot. Just because he didn't send me down, it doesn't mean it's not a pen. Nice handball there, Sol. I'll take that. Oh, I've literally ball rolled past the defender into the space, pulled the shot off. Defenders bullied me away. Go on, Pele. Go on, Pele. No, I should have squared it. That's my bad. Go on, Drogba. From there. Nope. Let it go out for a corner. I should have just... I had, the, I had the crossfield ball. I do that way too much. I shoot when I don't... I shouldn't have to way too much. Ronaldinho, Makalele into, into nobody because the touches are bad. This, the gameplay is heavy as hell, guys. Uh, I know sometimes that sounds like excuses. Um, I hope Toby puts a few of these chances in so you can see that I'm struggling with gameplay as much as I am with anything else. Here we go, though. Ronaldinho from there over the bar. Got Ronaldinho back. And that's it. Goal for Valverde there. Just very, very simple play from him. Just one ball down the line, a fake shot inside, a cut back into the box, and a tap in for Valverde. I feel like I probably should have scored already by now. I've got goals in me, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this game here, guys. All right, now it's going to be a real test in this game. Because this guy is obviously five at the back. He's now 1-0 up. He's very clearly on drop back defense. And there's Pele. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. Come on. I've only got two men up front. I've got to stop like, switching into my defenders. Just let him have his two men up front. He scored off of it as well. That's tough. I, I, I just don't know how to get better at defending those situations. I had enough men back. I was marking the passing lanes. And I still couldn't stop it from going in the back of the net. Van Basten with a big goal there. And we're back down again, boys. Give me that last attack. Here's Zidane. He's bullied me off with Rafa Varane. I mean, th this guy's a quality player. I, I take nothing away from him. He's playing the game really smart. He's literally just had two chances. Look at my pass accuracy, guys. 81%. It's so low. I'm struggling so hard. I know it will seem like excuses, especially now that I'm losing. But I am struggling a lot with passing in this game. Simple stuff. Inside passes going outside. Straight pass is going laterally. Like, it's just, it's real difficult right now. So, hopefully, we can come through the second half. Um, I'll give it my best shot, but it's not looking good. Oh, Sol, you've got to be winning that one for me, pal. He's done it again. Oh, no, EA. Not like this. Oh, oh, thank God he's missed that. I didn't deserve to concede off of that. There we go. No! See what I mean with the passing? I obviously didn't want it there. Oh, and he's got away with it. No, it... Guys, I have a player just on the edge of the box for a, a good easy tap in there. I don't know who it was. I think it was Pele. And it's played it all the way back down the, uh, down the angle to Zidane. Oh, I can't. I can't. Like, it's, it's impossible to win in these ones, boys, where you're fighting against the game more than you're fighting against your opponent. That's nice. Let's go, Ronaldinho. I've got to score off of this. Got to score off of this. Ronaldinho. Let's go. 2-2. Two -two. We're back in the game. Just a little bit of patience there. And we get the goal. Ronaldinho scores to make it two. Hopefully we can go on and win this one. Come on. That's nice. A super. No. And again. Oh my God. That's for Drogba EA. 
That is for Drogba. He's standing right next to Pele for an easy, easy shot. Right, got to get Pele off. Um, his stamina is just absolutely dead. He's not doing anything for me. We're going to bring... We're going to bring Palacios into that cam roll. And I'm going to bring on Laudrop for Zidane. What's Palacios got? 87 pace, 4 star, 4 star. That's nice. Ronaldinho is still okay. I've had to be on like constant pressure for a lot of this game to get back into the game. So the stamina of my players right now isn't good. So if we go to extra time, I could be in big trouble. Um, hopefully we can sn snatch a goal from this last 10 or 15 minutes. Come on, Ronaldinho. Come on, Ronaldinho. Back post. There it is. Oh, so close. This, um, this game is 2-2. I hope, Toes, make sure you put this in. His game is 2-2. This guy is a very, very good player, right? It's been a really even, really close game. I am fighting so hard against the elements here. I'm having the worst input delay or compensation lag or gameplay or whatever it is. This is horrendous to play in. This is no fun at all. How's he got around Campbell there? Oh, my days. How's he got around Campbell there? Oh, how am I losing? I should have been 3-2 up there. I had a good chance. I got to the byline with Ronaldinho. Look at that fake shot from Valverde. It's so clean inside. It's a nice, it's a nice finish. I don't know how he got around Campbell the first time, but the fake shot on the inside was uh, real nice. I'm in big trouble now, guys. I've, I already have like low stamina. I'm already on uh, bad gameplay. This guy's good enough as it is. This, game, this game's uh, probably done for me. All right, we're going to have to go all out for this second half of extra time, guys. This guy is so passive, so defensive. We're going to have to try our best here. Ah. Come on, press him. I'm letting pass around the back line. I'm on constant pressure and everything, man. I'm doing my absolute best to get back into... It won't, it won't give me Sol Campbell. Ah, oh, now we just get... That's game. That's tough. That's tough. I mean, this guy's a good player. Like, I, you know, I, I take nothing away from him as a player. Um, I, I got a little bit unlucky with a couple of attacks. I got a little bit unlucky with his goal that he scored to make it 3-2. Um, just, uh, I, I felt like I defended it well. It'd be interesting to see if I did actually defend it well or not. Let's go and have a look. So even game, man. Really even game. Um, it's this one here. So I, re I feel like I read the ball with Sol Campbell. And he just he just stands still by the looks of things. Hey, look, look, he does some weird little... Look at that. What is that animation? It's that an Whatever that animation is, allows Valverde to get through Campbell there. So it's, it's like he gets pushed back out of the way from Valverde. And then that, then this fake shot is really, really nice. Like, really, really clean fake shot um, and a nice finish. But that's tough, guys, man. That, that guy obviously was a good player. Um, he just tried killing the game every time he went 1-0 up. And then pulled it back to 1-1. He went 2-1 up. I pulled it back to 2-2. He went 3-2 up. I, I did have a feeling that I would struggle quite badly um, with, um, with extra time because of the low stamina on the players. And that's exactly what happened. I tried my best to get back in the game, guys. But for today... Uh, it's a semi-final exit, so probably my best draft ever in terms of the actual draft itself. And one of my worst finishes in a long, long time. We get a gold pack, a silver players pack, and a premium gold pack. Not the best rewards, but if we get a lucky card in that silver players pack, we could end up hitting something big. We could end up making our money back or making some profits somewhere down the line. Um, so there you go, guys. Can't win them all. Some, you know, you win some, you lose some. There's uh, four new, oh, six players in that uh, pack is is a big help to start with. That's for sure. Uh, that will go a long way to helping us get some coins back from our 15k entry point. Uh, we then got a gold pack. As long as we can hit, uh, you know, maybe a coin unlock or something like that, a hunter ca chemistry style or a shadow chemistry style, um, that'd be quite nice as well. What do we get? Oh, but again, seven players in the pack this time. So so far. We've got 13 players, um, which even at like four or 500 coins, we're looking at like, you know, six, 7,000 coins or so, um, which is nice. Maybe, maybe five, six, 7,000 coins uh, with the match coins from the two games that we got um, and the other consumables. We're, we're probably uh, we're probably made back right now about eight to nine K. So we're looking at about 6,000 coins, 7,000 coins from the silver players pack. We don't need to hit too much out of the silver players pack to get that. Even some of those Libertadores cards would be nice. Uh, obviously, uh, some of the other big cards would be nice. What do we get? Do we get anything of, of note here? So we get a couple of cards. So uh, we get a Sampdoria right back. And he's worth about 15, maybe 1,000 coins. Yeah, about 1,000 coins for him. Uh, we get the Turkish player. Turkish league isn't typically that expensive. But this card, again, looks to be about seven, eight, maybe even 1,000 coins for him as well, which is nice. We get a Celta Vigo card. He's worth less. He's worth nothing almost. Um, and then a few other players here and there. So, although it was a second round exit, 
I can't say that we made profit, but we didn't make much of a loss. That's not too bad. Uh, that, though, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.